and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm back in the garage today and this feels like a little while since I've been in here, mainly because we've had summer and loads of car shows. But nonetheless, I'm out here today and I've actually got a day off, which is quite rare for me, but um, yeah, I'm off work today, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work on the Fiesta ST. We've got two main parts for today's video. The first one being changing these front pads. Um, yeah, mine are really low and need changing. And also, I've got these gloss black interior surrounds that I've had for ages and just never fitted to the ST. And uh, yeah, going to give these a clean up and fit them as well. Today's video will probably be a little bit more chilled and chatty because I haven't got too, too much to do. But there hasn't been an update on the Mark 1 Fiesta project for a while, so I'll be filling you guys in about that. And also, I've got jobs relating to my Mark 2 Fiesta, which I'll be doing very soon as well. I've just been spending my morning actually cleaning the inside of the Fiesta ST. Considering it's my daily, it gets quite neglected, but yeah, really happy with how it's come out today. I've also cleaned all of this fabric and the leather. If anyone's got one of these STs, you'll know how hard it is to keep that fabric clean, but I'm really happy with both seats now. That one is still a little bit mucky actually, so gonna have to go over that again, but overall, pretty good job, I think. I am going to get the front pads out of the way. I know it's pretty simple, but I'll record it nonetheless. Also, you can probably spot, caught a naughty curb the other day with these uh, performance alloys. If anyone knows any good alloy wheel refurbished places in Hertfordshire, then yeah, let me know, because it's really annoying. It's quite hard to tell when it's down the bottom here, but when it's up there staring at your face, it's well annoying. I will say excuse the mess, I did actually clean the exterior of the ST yesterday and I went for like a 15 minute drive if that this morning and it's already caked in rubbish. Right, let's get these wheels off. I think the technical term for this is getting your money's worth. Look at them. Still the tiniest bit left, but yeah, definitely need changing. Just two little 13 mils at the back of the caliper. One. Two. Yep, they are very, very low. I think this inside one's a bit worse. Oh, yeah. So it hasn't actually rubbed all the way through to the metal backing, but look, the tiniest bit of friction material that was left on that pad has just come away. So very lucky there, I think. Now, if I wasn't in a massive rush to change these pads, um, I would have got some from OP Oils or anywhere better than Euro car parts. However, I had to go there because it's just nice and easy and they had the ones I wanted in, just some Brembo ones. They also come with all of the shims as well and new bolts, so yeah, you got everything there. And they were 35 quid, so you can't really go wrong. Yeah, due to time restraints, I just had to get these ones from Euros, but after the winter and I've given these a right old hard time, I think I'll treat the ST to some proper high-end discs and pads. I'm not going to bore you guys with changing front pads because, let's be honest, it's probably the most easiest task um, you could do on a car. But I am going to check the sliders because a little while ago, I think about three months ago, something like that, my rear slider actually stuck on and, um, yeah, it went all the way down to the disc and I had to do rear pads and discs. Um, but these ones are all nice and free. What I will be doing is I will get a bit of slider grease and just freshen them up but yeah the other one at the rear was completely rusted i think i'm whacking a couple of pictures as well um I'm, I'm sure i took some of them this red grease is brilliant for these i 
I'm very happy that they weren't rusted in because they're bloody hard to get out. I've had a, a couple of sprinters before where I literally haven't been able to get the slider out. And all that is down to is poor maintenance. One of them, two of them. It's nice that these come with new shims because quite a lot of brake pads actually don't, which is annoying. Got me G-clamp on my caliper. Just gonna wind that back. There's loads of different ways to do this, but I like to use this method. Also, you can put a pad in here to make it easier. I'm just uh, cheating basically and resting it on the sides. There we go, caliper is all wound back, ready to be refitted. Uh, I have taken the cap off of the brake fluid reservoir, just in case there's any built up pressure. Bit of copper slick, or copper grease, or as these people are calling it, copper ease. I've never heard of that before, but <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. We'll have a bit of copper ease. Dun, 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 dun. Gets dark far too early for my liking. And it's raining. One. Boom, that's all in now, so I could put my caliper back on. Brand new caliper bolts going in. I got away with it taking them out, but I do need the spanner to do these up. Just a little 17 against your 13. That's a job jobbed. I've just completed the brake pads on this side, so I'm gonna go and do the driver's sides and whack on a time lapse. And then once I've done that, I'll uh, catch up with you guys and we'll have a chat about the Mark 1 Fiesta. Put me mucky shoes on this carpet yet. There we go, I've now changed the brake pads on both sides and the ST's back on the floor. Nothing really to write home about, I know, but one thing I did spot is on these pads, there is quite a lot of meat left on it, but the friction material is actually starting to lift off of the backing plate, so uh, yeah, that's not good at all. Anyway, let's have a little catch up on what's going on with the Mark 1 Fiesta project, seeing as so many people message me every week about it. You'll have to excuse the mess because we're just trying to clear up a little bit at the moment. Anyway, Dad's been cleaning up this gearbox because that's the last thing really we need to sort out before we can fit the engine. While on the subject of the engine, it's all looking good. Not a lot's really changed, but the cam cover's on with a new gasket, which I bought my dad, I think it was for his birthday or father's day i really can't remember but um yeah that's all ready and good to go a couple of things which we're going to be doing i think this weekend first thing we need to cut down the flywheel bolts because they're a little bit too long for our cvh flywheel i think that's the flywheel we've got yeah pretty sure if i'm wrong then i've messed it up and i also last night my dad's ordered a clutch kit so we're going to be fitting that as well this weekend and then I think we're gonna bolt the gearbox up. We've also got some gearbox drive shaft oil seals to change. And then it will be time to put the engine back in, I think. So we've had about four or five runs now, mocking it up, welding in the plate and uh, whatnot. If you guys can see, it's uh, a lot cleaner than it was before. Starting to fit the new bolt kit up. Got that from Shane Baker and Dad's also sprayed up some bits down there to make him look a little bit neater so yeah there will be a full mark one fiesta video coming soon but that's just a little teaser uh, of what's to come moving on i'm going to clean up these plastics and i'll catch up with you guys in a minute it is so clean in there but first job just need to take this opioids air freshener out unfortunately don't smell of a lot but luckily, they've actually sent me out some more. There we go, a fresh new OP Oils air freshener. I'm not quite sure 
what the smell is. It smells quite nice and fruity, but I actually really like it. I'm a bit of a, um, I don't know what the word is, I'm a bit picky with air fresheners. Sometimes they smell like absolute garbage. A quick bit of news on OP Oils, they're going to actually sponsor me, so they sent me out a load of stickers, um, some air fresheners and some key rings the other day, and they're just setting up a sponsorship code, so when you guys shop at OP Oils, you can use the discount and uh, save some pennies. Onto the job. I've got my piano black, because they're not actually gloss black, they're piano. Don't ask me a difference, I don't have a clue. But um, yeah, I've got these trims here, and we're going to fit them. Not sure why, but the STs don't come with the whole thing in this piano black. Um, my EcoBoost had this bit in piano black, this bit and this bit, but I don't know. This one's going to be a piece of cake, hopefully. Maybe not. Right, well, I got this off. Um, bit of brute force, basically. Didn't break anything, but it went with a almighty crash. Trying to undo a multi-plug with one hand. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then... Now we're going to try and get this centre console bit out. Trying to not make my car dirty because I'm literally crying. It's never been this clean. Look at the lever. No shine on that. That's clean as anything. <coughs> oh, no ventilation in it. <coughs> Any OPLs. <coughs> Air fresh that's killing me. Right, I know this comes off, so get that out. It should just clip off, I think. There we go. Nearly. What we got up here, luckily, because I got this one, I can just refer to it. Oh, there you go. Look, you got all these little press clips, but it should just go like that. One, well, two multi plugs, one for the heated seats, and also one for the ESC traction control. There we go. That's that part off. There you go. Perfect. Bosh that in. Bosh the heated seat bit in. Oh no. Is there meant to be a surround around that? Hmm. That doesn't look good. Actually no. It goes in like that, that's why. Nearly. Nearly. That's in. Oh yeah, so much better. Wipe that over there. Remember your multi-plugs. Sure how these go in, but... There we go. Bosh that back on there. Oh, baby. That looks... So much better. Whack the little kitty airbag on. Let's go in there. Not sure what's going on there. Right, it's all fitted now. Pretty happy with it. Um, the only thing that this bit just doesn't sit 100% in there. But you know what? It's better. It's better than the uh, the old matte stuff. So no, I, I'm happy with that. It, it looks it looks apart. I think. Much tidier, much cleaner. Yeah, that, that's nice, that is. That's about all I'm going to be able to fit in today's video. Just a quick one on the Mark II. Still here in the garage, looking pretty. I've got a few jobs that I want to do to this, but there might be something actually filling its space very soon. And that's all I'm going to say. I know it wasn't my usual action-packed video, but sometimes there's just days like this and I thought I might as well record. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like, and if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bloody cars. You know what, it's just so awkward recording on your driveway. Normally I've got loads of cars here, but because it's in the weekday, uh, yeah, there's hardly no cover and you're just talking to yourself. <laughs> it is worth noting before someone... Sam win? I actually wish it was still summer. That's about all I'm going to be able to fit in today. <laughs> That's about all I'm going to be able to fit in today's